right, so welcome back to Dish Nation. Now, if you like the idea of two women beating the hell out of each other over a man, then you need to go see the new movie Unforgettable, which is in theaters today. Now, we sent the homie Andrew Freud to go head to head with the stars, and here's how it went down. You'll get used to Tessa. She's adjusting, too. It's not easy, all this change. I get it. No, you don't. How well do you really know Julia? You are a survivor, and what happened was not your fault. I only had David and Lily. You took everything away from me. David? Should I be scared of Katherine Heigl? I mean, I think that the answer to that is obviously yes. Um, she's terrifying. Um, she's not acting at all in this. That's clear. Um, and I... Um, um, when I see her in the hallway, I go back in the room. I'm, I'm all scared. Yeah, have you interviewed her yet? No. Yeah, good luck. She's gonna kill you. Stoltz just told me that you might try to kill me. Why? Because you're so bad in this movie. Oh, sure. If I'm going to test mode, I might. Depends on what you've done. <laughs> Do not cross me. What is, what is the look? You have this, this look in there where she's like, she wants to just bitch slap you. Right. Like, what is that look? I, it's just utter disgust and disappointment. <laughs> I have honed it. What was it like to be the out of Rosario Dawson? <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> it was fun, that, that scene, because, you know, you don't, no one does that in real life, okay? So to get to go there even in play is sort of freeing and, she is going for it. She is not just trying to um, hurt her. She's trying to kill her. So what is it like to beat the out of Katherine Heigl? It was kind of awesome, I have to say. I, I'm like, she's hilarious. She's America's sweetheart. I'm a huge fan of hers for many years. And it was just like, I love you, girl, but you're going down. <laughs> this is wasting time. This ain't good. This is, we're going to fight. It was just like a brawl on set. It was basically a brawl, yeah. It was like the very end of the movie, so it was the last stuff for us to do. So it felt so nice, because it was like, it was just all over the place and kind of chaotic. And it wasn't even supposed to be really beautifully orchestrated. You know what I mean? They didn't want it to look like premeditated. So it was just sloppy and like great. It was, it was super fun, actually. I made one mistake. And you took everything away from me. Stop. Let, let's talk about your exes. Mm -hmm. Do you unfollow them or do you keep tabs on them? Do you unfriend? Do you untwitterize them? It's a really good question. I think that it is important in, in a breakup. I think um, it is important to initially unfollow because I think um, the job of an ex is to get in better shape, get better looking, and hang out with cooler people immediately to piss off your, your ex. Let's say someone did you wrong, and if you could, you know, get back at them, would you do it if there was no consequence? Or are you more of a... No consequences. Yeah. Revenge without consequences? I don't think that's even possible. I wouldn't believe it. No, I feel like karma is a real thing. I'm not a forgive and forget kind of guy. Uh, I consistently think of ways to get my brother back for he did to me when we were kids. All the time, all the time. Um, but I need, he babysits my dog a lot when I'm working, so I need him, I can't piss him off too much.